need to come up with a couple of things, right? First, we need to know what we want our robot to do, and then, like, we want to figure out, like, everything we want our robot to be able to do, but we don't have to worry about the how in any way, right? We don't have to think about mechanisms, we don't have to think about, like, strategy, I mean, maybe some strategy, but not much, right? It's only just what are the, like, the concrete goal tasks that we have to do. After that, we build off of, like, those tasks and see how we can like maybe combine them using certain mechanisms and whatnot. So the way on my team we used to do this is uh, through two things. It's called the morph matrix and then the pew matrix. Is anyone familiar with any of them? Functions you have to do, right? So we can split the game up into a couple different like sections, right? Obviously auton, tally up, end game. And then we just list out all the things we want our robot to be able to do and then we start to rank them. So it's really similar to what we do in the first step of FFFT. And then after we come up with our list of functions, right, after we rank them too, we're going to split up into a couple of groups. How many people do we have? Um, 12? Yeah. Right, so you want to start from the, like, the lowest level possible. Like, what's the first thing we want to be able to do is drive, right? So we write that in all of Can you go up and write? Yay! Okay. Move. Oh, that's kind of and big, I don't right? Need that. Small footprint is what matters. Okay. Um, what else are we thinking for functions? I think for we all. might need some kind of elevator function. Okay. And so, we could use that both auton and telia. So lift cones would be a function. No, that would be auton and endgame. Well, that would well, be all. That would be all endgame. In endgame, you need to be able to lift cones oh, to yeah, do yeah. your final path. We don't have an endgame, do we? You want to say should come with Yeah, I, I mean, that, that's why we like go very exhausted. Very <laughs>
of a cone shape mechanism. The reason for a cone shape mechanism is so that there is the error is minimal, as in when you go here, it just adjusts itself on the mat. And once the channel is out, the tongues expand over here and over here. Uh, kind of like a wrist motion where we have two servos and then one's closing and one's twisting so we can pick up. Uh, planning uh, so we'll be in our prototyping groups then Monday and Tuesday we're going to be building them with the parts of these and we're bringing these parts to the Robo Titans place on Sunday but we won't be doing too much actual building it'll be more of a drawing out the specifics yes so tomorrow basically we're finalizing the design finalizing the designs for the prototypes and trying out some basic uh, builds <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Things you are ready to know. I forgot. <laughs>